Hello everybody, Cheeseburger07 here. Beautiful, beautiful evening here. Sorry if there's a glare. Kind of facing right into the sun, but uh, it's been quite a few. It's been quite a few weeks. Quite a few weeks, huh? It's been a few weeks since I've made a vlog, and uh, it's basically because I had finals for school, and then spring started, which meant work. And I just uh, haven't had the time that I thought I was going to have. And it didn't help that the whole month of May here in Ohio has been nothing but rain. I think there's been like four days where it was, there was no rain at all. And it was like 55 degrees. So. But today, I mean, it's just now it's starting to get into the summer weather. 80s. Beautiful out. Nice little breeze. Sorry for that. I forgot to put my visor down. Anywho. And I figured I'd uh, make a vlog tonight. I'm just on my way to the uh, the movie place to rent. Some, I'm gonna rent a couple. I'm gonna rent a video game and a movie, maybe and have a night to myself. So, but uh, figured I'd talk about something here. That's uh, I've been wanting to do a video on this since it started to get warmer out and everything. And it's kind of a not a really controversial topic, just kind of a, a neat little topic that everybody kind of talk, likes to talk about. And of course, we're going to have a slow car in front of me for this. So, but uh, the topic is, uh, since the warmer weather is coming out, we have what we have in the motorcycle community. We call squids. Uh, no, they're not the the gross, watery creatures that live in the ocean that like have little suckers and things like that. We're not talking about that. But uh, I'm talking about squids, as in which is given to motorcyclists who. Uh, behave erratically. Now, there is a different... The, the word squid was originally, you know, something meant to be, you know, a newbie motorcyclist who had no idea what he was doing, endangered the lives of others. But there are lots of other interpretations of that that's happened throughout the years. And now it seems to be that <clears throat> anything... Now it's even getting to what, what guys wear when they ride as a definition of a squid. And uh, now I'm a preacher of, you know, wearing all your gear all the time. But of course, I don't, you know, I don't wear other jeans or anything like that. I just wear regular blue jeans. But, you know, I do wear my gloves, my jacket, my helmet. And I won't lie. You know, I got my boots. But I won't lie. I won't, I, I won't lie and say that, you know, there are times where I go without my jacket when it's like really, really hot outside. And if it's just around town. And people bash me for it saying, uh, you know, you should wear your jacket. What happens if you go down? I've been down. I know what happens. <laughs> I know the risks. Uh, does that make me a squid? I don't think so. To me, a squid is more of a, a behavior thing rather than a fashion statement. Now, yes, it does. There is some. It does. There, there is some. The same things to that. You know, there's. You know, usually when you see a kid riding around or, you know, anything on a motorcycle and they're wearing the sandals and the shorts and the tank top or no shirt at all or and no helmet, of course, um, most of the time that guy has really no idea what he's doing on a motorcycle. But does, you know, that does make him a squid in my book. It's a behavior thing because he probably acts like an idiot. Uh, and my idiot, I mean, doing the burnouts on the highways and endangering... You know, I think that's all cool. You know, I like the wheelies and stuff, but, you know, do that, like, away from people, you know? If you're going to do that on public roads, um, do it away from people. Uh, it, when they start, when people start endangering other people's lives, uh, that's when it becomes a concern for me. And yes, a motorcyclist can endanger a car, a cager. Yes, it can happen. But, you know... You know, whatever you do, like in the back roads, I don't care because I speed on the back roads and stuff. Does that make me a squid? I don't think so because I'm not endangering anybody else. I know when to act. You know, I do act responsible, and and being responsible is not doing that crap in you know traffic and stuff like that, and endangering other people's lives. So, but it's gotten down to the point where you know people even who wear shorts and a t-shirt and everything, which that really isn't true because you know I, uh, there are some people I know that have been riding for 40 years you know and and they're some of the most responsible riders I know and they uh, they ride around in shorts and t-shirt does that make them a squid I don't think so I'd rather ride with them than some guy who is in full gear 
who had was acting like an idiot, weaving in and out of traffic and endangering other people's lives. I'd rather ride with the uh, the quote unquote squid with the shorts, you know. So it's it's one of them things where to me it's a squid is the definition of a squid to me is acting beyond your limits and endangering other people's lives. Not so much a gear thing. Trust me, the gear has a lot to do with it, but it's not everything. It's not you know the majority of it. To me, it's a behavior thing. I'd rather ride with somebody who knew what they were doing and dressed in shorts than someone who rode in full gear and had no idea what the heck they were doing and acting like an idiot and everything. So, but that's my uh, that's my definition of a squid. Just thought you guys would uh, want to know that. So. That's basically the thing I've been thinking about here for the last few days since I haven't been able to really ride uh, because I've had to do stuff with my car and haven't had a chance to take the bike out even though it's been warm. It's been rainy but warm. So I just figured that's a topic I'd like to talk about. I wanted to hear your guys' input on it about squids and uh, you know I know there's some people from different countries who watch my channel and uh, see what maybe you guys have maybe you guys call them something different. I don't know but uh but yeah, that's pretty much all I have on the topic of squids. Like I said, it's, you know, it is what it is. You know, a squid to me is is an irresponsible rider. That's all basically it comes down to. And there's a lot of, I mean, there's, <laughs> I think 90% of where I live, I mean, it's just squids. And trust me, just because you put on a helmet doesn't mean I can't call you a squid. Because, I mean, I, had, I don't call people squids just from their initial look. You know, I had, I'd have to ride with them or watch them ride. To actually see what uh, oh we got a carnival going on here I forgot all about this it's right in front of the video store so you guys will get to see a carnival um, but it's it's more of a behavior thing it's not it's not so much the dress you know so but yeah I'm, I'm hoping I can make some more video some vlogs in the future here uh, it is it is one of my goals to uh, to uh, start making more vlogs and look at these little wanksters here but uh, yeah you're on YouTube stupid gangsters but uh, I thought that guy was gonna go but I guess not oh well oh yep there's the carnival that's what we have once a year for Memorial Day weekend they bring out the, the drunk the, the guys that work this thing are like complete losers. They come into the grocery store I work at and buy beer all the time at night. And I think they just live here. Like, I don't even think they rent a hotel room or anything. So, alrighty, fellers. So, yeah, leave your comments, suggestions. They're always welcome. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you guys down the road. Thanks for tuning in.